Hey you guys, welcome to the Danger Zone. It's Ashley. Lots of love and many blessings. Okay you guys, I was talking to a new friend of mine the other day and we were just talking about how the RH negative factor um, played into the royal family and I found this interesting website and I'm not going to read it verbatim but I am going to read from it just like the stuff that I think pertains and is completely interesting. So here we go. Okay, so we've all seen various discussions concerning the RH negative blood type. It seems to be the dominant blood group of European royalty who feel that they have the right to rule through DNA in a relationship that they claim through the Merovingian, uh, Merovingian, Me excuse me, Merovingian bloodline. And I know I'm not saying that right, but I've said it 800 times. And I just don't have the energy to do it over. Anyhow, uh, the Shroud of Turin is supposed to verify this showing that Jesus is RH negative, but many insist it's a fake. Now, I personally believe that it is a fake. There's no denying that we have many former presidents with this blood type as well as fairly well-publicized people. We read uh, glowing reports that such people are sensitive and caring, but according to this website, they don't see this outside of possibly John F. Kennedy. Okay, so, and it says that you know how the the rules have the ability to shape shift. Now, it does seem um, that, you know, there is something to that, but every human embryo has a tail at about three months in utero, and it's called this long word in Latin, which means the dragon's tail. But the interesting part is that we're told many RH negatives are born with this tail intact to varying degrees. They go through life with a small tail. Now, I have personally never seen anybody with a tail. However, my husband tells me that he knows somebody that has one, a small one. It's somebody in his family. I have RH negative uh, blood factor. My, I have O negative blood. Now, I do have extra vertebrae on my spine saying that I don't have a tail because if I did, I would dye it multiple colors and pierce it or get it a tattoo because I'm just, that's how I roll. <laughs> it's true. And according to scientists and doctors, it's just really, um, it's a bundle of spinal nerve roots and they're arising from the end of the spinal cord and it fills this lower part of the spinal canal. But the Basque are known um, as a maritime group, and you know, getting off that subject, and are the largest known RH negative group. They do not seem to enjoy any special favors when it comes to the European movers and shakers. In fact, at times they seem persecuted as do Palestinians, American Indians, the Japanese I knew, uh, the white tribe, which was pushed to almost extinction in Japan and have large percentages of RH negative blood. They also have one of the highest percentages of rare AB blood type. RH negative people do seem to, to experience a high rate of disappearance. And it makes you think if there's um, DNA or if this blood type, is there a blood type needed for something that we really don't know that much about. And another theory about this is that the reptilians are tracking those with RH negative blood factor. Going back in the time, the RH negative uh, hybrids came from the Draco Caverns and the Carpathian Mountains. They were mostly red haired, green eyes, or black haired with brown eyes. Now they tried to infiltrate themselves into the blonde, brown haired with blue eyes civilization. And it kind of reminds me of Hitler, anyway, and his cloning, whatever he was trying to do. They wanted to mate with those who were the, the not RH negatives, but the most RH negs have a lower body temperature and blood pressure than RH positives. And many RH negs are born with this tail or extra vertebrae, and RH negs are hybrids. They're part reptilian and part human. If, if two RH negs try to have a baby, it usually will die or be born a blue baby because it's not processing oxygen properly. Thus, blue blood, blue bloods 
you know, if they survive 5% of the Earth's population, are currently Rh negatives. But the, uh, the 15% of the population of those 5% on Earth are in US, uh, the United States. I was going to say USA, but that don't sound right, being an American. I don't know why I have to say United States in England. I just thought I'd babble off a minute. Anyhow, that's weird to me, but yet kind of makes sense. Lorraine Scott, Maria del, uh, del Rosario, Slavitska Javon, President Eisenhower, John F. Kennedy, Richard Nixon, Bill Clinton, George Bush Sr., all negatives. Uh, the Pharaoh Ramses II is a negative. The Shroud of Turin, negative. Prince Charles, his late grandmother, and Queen Elizabeth are all O negative, as well as Prince William O negative. Mick Jagger, Marilyn Monroe, Dan Aykroyd, O.J. Simpson, Ron Goldman, Lacey Peterson, all negative, you guys. Anyhow, it goes on to say that there are uh, some, some interesting facts, and I'm going to tell you before I go any further with that, is the fact that you remember that Marshall guy that came out a few years back and he was talking about the cloning centers and how he was an escapee and this, that, and the other, and they used to beat him. I always thought he was far-fetched. I thought, this joker is crazy. I am not putting a minute of my life into him. But everybody was hyping him up. He's real. He's a truther. He is what he says he is. He says it's all true. Anyhow, I found something really interesting about what he said. He said that uh, the cloning centers that he's seen... Hit oh, Hitler was uh, negative, by the way. But the cloning centers that he witnessed, Queen Elizabeth and Prince Charles, this just stands out as one of many stories, he says, were the ones down there running the, the cloning centers. They were the ones partaking in this cloning procedure, not them. They weren't being cloned, but they were cloning people, clonable in Hollywood and other other people, just random whatever. And so I say that to say this. It's been proven that the majority of mankind, which is 85% of a blood factor seen in, the, in that you know, monkey, it's called uh, Rh positive blood. Well, you know, this factor is not related to the A, B, A, B, O blood types. Rh negative factor has to be uh, a mutation or points of uh, out descendants from a different family tree. Negative blood types cannot be cloned. You can breed a horse and a donkey, but the mule will remain sterile. Now, I go back to that Marshall guy because maybe he had something merit to what he said. Now, I'm going to have to go and, and research this joker and see if he if he was on the level or not. I just didn't give him much time, but I really think I'm going to reconsider how I felt initially about him. And so, saying all of that, I just, I found it interesting, and I don't know how you guys feel about him. Leave it in the comments section. I'm, I'm curious. Um, I do read the comments, and sometimes I, you know, skim through things, but I'll always go back and read them, because I do appreciate your time very, very much. But it says the Rh negative blood types is said to be of um, unknown origin. There is one scientist that can give a single reason. There's not one scientist, excuse me, that can give a single reason for its existence, other than the mutation that occurred tens of thousands of years ago. It's according to the website, they gathered a lot of pseudo and actual details over the years, of which are amusing and contradictory to what uh, whoever wrote this thought that was the cause of the negative blood type factor. And it goes on to say that the royal families of Europe claim to be descendants of the gods and blue bloods as a result of their Rh negative blood type. It said Peter, whom Jesus had given the keys to heaven was quoted as saying that we will be judging the angels and it says bear in mind however there is no evidence peter or jesus were rh negative the rarest of blood groups is ab 
individuals with the group uh, blood group AB contain both antigen A and antigen B. Thus, they can receive blood from individuals of all blood groups. Nevertheless, people with AB blood uh, can donate blood only to people who have the AB blood group. But one researcher believes all groups were at one time AB and just had a copper deficiency, which causes deterioration down to type O and reduces lifespan. Makes me want to go and eat some copper if that's possible. So we really don't know uh, much, but it could be that AB is the original blood group. And it, sends, it, it says that these people tend to believe that that might be the case. But what of the Rh negative factor? And it says that they, they hardly think it's a mutation. Some say O is the strongest blood and others, like uh, the scientists disagree and say that AB is the original blood type. AB positive is almost as rare as AB negative. So there's much disagreement. Most all say never take a blood transfusion as there are over 5,000 uh, varying, varying blood factors. It says in all blood groups there exists a common microbe that in essence is the life force itself and during their experiments their team conducted uh, the heated blood to 700 degrees Fahrenheit and they also added liquid nitrogen and this microbe which is uh, visible only with a highly modified dark field microscope that was custom built for them was still alive after that and it says we have also tested this on mummy dust this microbe is still alive after 5,000 plus years when the mummy dust is placed in a pH perfect solution the same as the live blood is returned back to life and then you have the satanic vampire cult drinkers who seem to think that the life is in the blood. So as weird as it is, I just think that the Marshall guy might have been onto something. Um, I'm definitely going to go back and just kind of go over everything he said because I'm nosy and I just want to see what he has to say. But I thought I'd give you guys a little information about the RH negative and do I think that there's something to it? Most definitely. I sure do. Um, of course, I don't have a tail. I do have extra vertebrae on my spine. Not that I look like Quasimodo, but it is what it is. And uh, that's just the facts. Now, the rules, it makes me think even more so that they carry uh, their children using surrogate mothers. I just It, it just kind of drives that situation in my head for me because everybody has screamed that they were trans. And I never stopped to, to look at it. And then the second I did stop to look at it, everything was, you know, it, the women do look like men. And then this saying what it says, if they're all blue bloods and they're all O positive, yet you can't take, you know, two RH negs and have a, uh, a, a healthy child. Explain to me how these people give birth and walk out three, three hours later looking fantastic my gosh you know it just doesn't make sense you know even with the rogan shot i mean it i'm not buying it so yeah i think there's a lot more to this than meets the eye and i can't wait to further dig down in it and i know you know who you are my new friend i've really enjoyed our conversation the other day and uh i thank you for this you know planting this seed in my mind and uh it motivated me. So you guys, I look forward to speaking with you real soon. I'll see you real soon and we'll talk real fast. And until then, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and be blessed always. Y'all take care.